be true to the thought of the moment and avoid distraction. Other than continuing to exert yourself, enter into nothing else, but go to the extent of living single thought by single thought. There is surely nothing other than the single purpose of the present moment. A man's whole life is a succession of moment after moment. There will be nothing else to do and nothing else to pursue. Live being true to the single purpose of the moment. It is a wretched thing that the young men of today are so contriving and so proud of their material possessions. Men with contriving hearts are lacking in duty. Lacking in duty, they will have no self-respect. Bushido is realized in the presence of death. This means choosing death whenever there is a choice between life and death. There is no other reasoning. It is spiritless to think that you cannot attain to that which you have seen and heard the masters attain. The masters are men, you are also a man. If you think that you will be inferior in doing something, you will be on that road very soon. If one is but secure at the foundation, he will not be pained by departure from minor details or affairs that are contrary to expectation, but in the end, the details of a matter are important. The right and wrong of one's way of doing things are found in trivial matters. Whether people be of high or low birth, rich or poor, old or young, enlightened or confused, they are all alike in that they will one day die. Human life is truly a short affair. It is better to live doing the things that you like. It is foolish to live within this dream of a world, seeing unpleasantness and doing only things that you do not like. Do not rely on following the degree of understanding that you have discovered, but simply think, this is not enough. Throughout your life advance daily, becoming more skillful than yesterday, more skillful than today, this is never ending. In the highest level, a man has the look of knowing nothing. No matter if the enemy has thousands of men, there is fulfillment in simply standing them off and being determined to cut them all down, starting from one end. In China, there was once a man who liked pictures of dragons, and his clothing and furnishings were all designed accordingly. His deep affections for dragons was brought to the attention of the dragon god, and one day a real dragon appeared before his window. It is said that he died of fright. He was probably a man who always spoke big words but acted differently when facing the real thing.